my channel today I'm going to make a rocking horse for a doll 1 6th scale using printables that you'll be able to get on my blog. I have the template here and some wood effect papers. You'll also need cardboard, glue and wooden dolls. So the first thing I did was cut out each shape on the template, glue it onto cardboard and cut it out. Then draw around it and cut around it again. This shape that you see here is the shoulder rest, the top back of the chair. So this is it cut out and I have four of them and I'll just be gluing them together. These two here are the armrests, so sort of opposite in shape. So I've already glued this one, four layers together. And we'll do the other one in a second. This shape here is your rocker for the bottom and you're going to cut it out four times and um, for one side and four times for the other side so all together you'll need eight of those and that is if you're using thin cardboard like a cereal box if you're using car corrugated cardboard that's a bit thicker then you'll do la less layers so this piece then is the seat of the chair and for this I used corrugated cardboard which is a bit thicker I just wanted to make sure that actual seat area was stronger and I just cut two so I'm going to go ahead and glue those layers together and then I'm going to cover them all in this wood effect paper. For this back piece here, when you cut it out, give it a little gentle shaping in a curved way. And we want to glue it together in a slightly curved shape so that that's going to come around the shoulders of the doll. Okay, so you should now you have your covered seat, your armrests, two rockers, and your curved shoulder rest for the top of the chair. So to assemble the chair, by the way, I left these overnight to dry. Make sure the glue had hardened. Um, the cardboard goes a bit soft and soggy when there's a lot of glue on it, so I left them overnight to dry to make sure um, it's nice and solid. So to assemble the chair. We're going to need some wooden dolls or bamboo skewers in this case. And we're going to cut them as follows. We need four eight centimeters long, four seven centimeters long, and we need six that are three and a half centimeters long. I'll put those measurements for you on the screen now. Around the back of the chair is going to be the four eight centimeter pieces. I've just mixed up. Okay, so these four are going to go around the back, and we're just going to go ahead and make some holes where I think would be a good place for them to go. So we have something like this. The next piece I'm going to take is the curved shoulder rest to go on top. Just going to line it up here to where the wooden dolls meet here. Make a little mark with a pencil or a pen. Take the piercing tool, make the holes where you marked. Careful. 
with your fingers. Place some pressure on that for a moment until you're sure the hot glue has created a nice firm bond. And the next part I'm going to put on is the armrests. So as you can see it's wider at one end, narrow at the other. The narrow piece goes to the back, okay? And the curve comes around towards the chair. Now this is where your six shortest pieces of wooden doll are going to be used, three for each side. And just the same as before, line up where you think the best place for them to go would be on the chair. Make three holes. And I'm going to go back and just make those holes a bit bigger. Smallest little bit of hot glue in each hole. Line up where you want the arm of the chair to be and make a little mark on it where you want these to go. When you're ready, pop this on. Hot glue on the end of each piece of window. Repeat the other side.
that's missing is our rockfish. So same as before, let's um, mark where we want the hole. The work. And to give it a little bit of extra support, I want to glue a piece across the back here, glue it on each end. Okay, so I've changed the camera angle here, sorry about the lighting, just to give you a better view of the chair and how it actually works. To make it a little bit more comfy, I'm just going to add a couple of cushions, then I know at least a couple of dolls, sorry about the camera. I know at least a couple of dolls who would be happy to curl up here and read a good book. 